Welcome to Revelation Unraveled. I'm your host, William Tapley, also known as the Third Eagle of the Apocalypse and the Co-Prophet of the End Times. By now, I am sure that many of you have seen that amazing photograph of lightning striking the Vatican a few hours after Pope Benedict resigned. And there have been many, many videos on YouTube attempting to explain why this phenomenon occurred. And one of my subscribers sent me an email today that the lightning strike occurred at exactly 5.55 p.m. And of course, as you, my subscribers, know by now, 555 symbolizes Mary's Rosary. Mary's Rosary is the weapon which will defeat the Antichrist. Just as David used five smooth pebbles in his fight against Goliath, Jesus will use Mary's Rosary in his fight against the Antichrist. Now let's take a closer look at this amazing lightning strike on the Vatican. In this by now famous photograph of lightning striking the dome of St. Peter's, we see in the lower left hand side a clock and the clock reads 555. Maybe if I zoom in a little closer we can get a better look. The precise time of this lightning strike was 555 and of course this was not accidental. I have also been telling you for several months now that that amazing music video called Gangnam Style is a true prophecy from Almighty God through the prophet Enoch. And it primarily is revealing the arrival of the Antichrist. It also shows the defeat of Pope Benedict by the Antichrist. Let's take a look at the license plate on the car which the man in yellow drives off in and the man in yellow symbolizes Pope Benedict. The man dressed in yellow and white symbolizes Pope Benedict. The automobile which is a Mercedes-Benz symbolizes Germany and also the Pope Mobile and of course the number that repeats on this license plate is 5, 5, and 5. The time of 5.55 on that clock when lightning struck the Vatican was not accidental. The three fives on that license plate in Gangnam style is not accidental. And there is another amazing prophecy in that Hyundai Super Bowl commercial called Stuck. Because the beautiful woman in that commercial symbolizes Mary. She wears five changes of clothing. That also symbolizes the rosary, and she wears beads around her neck. Let's take a look. The beautiful woman who symbolizes Mary wears a string of beads, and along with her five changes of clothing, she wears a medal. The other important point I want to make on this video is that this lightning strike and the meteorite which hit Russia are related. Jesus said there would be signs in the sun, moon, and stars in the end times to mark his return. If you remember the prophecies which Our Lady gave to the three shepherd children, she warned that Russia would spread her errors throughout the world, even to the point of the annihilation of nations. To prevent this, the Pope had to consecrate Russia to her Immaculate Heart. This has never been done. She also requested the faithful to pray her rosary. This lightning strike is a warning from God that since the popes have never consecrated Russia truly, as was requested by Mary at Fatima, the only option left is praying the rosary. This is all we will have to defeat the Antichrist. So I hope it should become fairly obvious by now that God's prophecies are very consistent. All the way from Genesis 3.15, where Mary is prophesied to crush the head of the serpent, all the way up to Gangnam Style, where we see the number 555 on Pope Benedict's license plate. And now, even when lightning strikes the Vatican, it occurs at 5.55 p.m. 
What these prophecies are telling us is that the weapon Jesus will use to defeat the Antichrist is Mary's Rosary. God is giving us these prophecies now because once the Antichrist takes over, all of my videos, for example, will be deleted from YouTube. In which case, you will probably wish you had a copy of my book, Revelation Unravel. It's available free for anyone who asks. You can write to the address you see on your screen, or you can send me a message to my YouTube channel. This is just a brief postscript to the video. After I had completed it, the two guys who alerted me to the fact that the clock was 5.55 in the Vatican when lightning struck, Roizen and Declan wanted me to give them a shout out, so thanks a lot guys, keep up the good work.